What's up boys and girls, welcome back to Expression Culture, here with me Gareth Honda Guru. Today, I'm going to be fitting the HKS super suction racing intakey thing to, <laughs> to Alex's CRZ. So here we go, this is the product we're going to be fitting today. This was uh, supplied by Torque GT, sorry, Torque Parts by Torque GT. So yeah, we're going to get to fitting it. Here's Alex, here's his car. You'll notice the uh, very impressive bumper. Yeah! And also his equally impressive engine bay, <laughs> which is covered in grime and crap. All kinds, of All kinds of filth. So I'm going to try my best to clean up a little bit as I go along. Um, got a few things to sort of deal with. These are quite rusty, which I've already, they always are. I've already soaked them in a penetrated fuel for an hour or so before we were chatting. You'll notice these clips are off, that's so I've already just checked to make sure it's got the original air filter in. Because we've just been talking about um, how Alex's car is serviced. Just giving him a bit of uh, information. You'll also notice it's got some aftermarket wiring on this car. That's down to his alarm system. Do apologise for my neighbour's dog. Still hasn't learned manners. But yeah, let's crack on. Right, boys and girls, first things first, we need to remove all of the stock uh, air system, air intake, air filter, blah, blah, blah. Um, that will come off eventually, but I'm going to do that end as sort of like the christening. Um, I'm going to apologise now. There is quite a bit of a draft coming down my driveway today. We did actually pick today as the better day. It seems like that draft has appeared a little bit earlier. Who's binging me now? Harry. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Harry. I'm sure you'll watch this back, video back at some point. So yes, um, first things first, a couple of panel clips here to remove this pipe. Not sure if this bracket needs to come off yet, but I've soaked it in uh, penetrating fluid anyway. Uh, Two 10 mils down here, unplug the, mass uh, unplug the air math sensor. Um, there's a little bolt here for on this clip. You will probably not be able to get it undone with a screwdriver. I actually have a specific one for this, which I cannot remember what size it is. I think it's 5.5 five five millimeter. It's the same on most modern Hondas, hence why I have it, because obviously I'll Worked on lots of Hondas in my time, being an ex-Honda technician. It pinched this to remove the uh, breather pipes just there. Luckily on this kit you don't have to replace any cooling lines like you do on other kits, which is fantastic. Yeah, we'll start doing that now. We'll get back to you in a minute. Right boys and girls, with the air box removed, um, I've given the rest of the engine bay a quick little spruce over because it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> you should be ashamed, my boy. <laughs> I am. Uh, but now it's a bit more, it looks a bit more presentable, which will be nicer for when he's got his new intake on it. Like I said, I am trying to clean as I go along. I'll probably do a little bit more, depending on what much more I take off. Um, this kit is quite, um, you've got a lot of screws and bolts and washers and everything like that, mainly for the heat shields that come in it. Sadly, they're not all in one piece. They're in multiple pieces. Um, so I'll probably build them off camera. As long as you follow the instructions, you should be fine. But I'll go through the major stuff as we go along. Right. So I've just assembled this part of the intake pipe. Lovely bit of cast aluminium, not aluminium. No yanks. So I'll just put the uh, math sensor in and this breather in, it's quite nice, comes with a bit of PTFE tape could do with being a bit smoother on the on there, but yeah very pretty piece let's crack on with the rest of it okay, so I've pretty much built up the actual intake pipe, pipe, pipe part now um, I'm now going to actually fit this cover to the intake manifold uh, mainly because um, the fixings are a bit 
sporadic and I want to know what's really for the brackets and the heat shield rather than getting them mixed up with the uh, HKS cover. So I'm going to go fit that now. Obviously I've got to remove the old one as well which these just pull off he says oh look and I've got more cleaning to do all right let's do that all right boys and girls I can't see because I just had a bug fly into my eye here we are pretty much there now so we put the little plate on nice and lovely I mocked up the uh, the intake at the moment. I've not done anything tight just because once the, the actual bracket and everything I've still got to fit and then the uh, heat shields but it gives you a rough idea of what it's going to look like and uh, yeah really impressed looks really good got to do this breathing pipe still but again I've not done anything to because to me that looks like it's going to be, be too long but I don't know if I've got to twist it down and make it longer or blah 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 so before I actually do that that would be the last thing I do just want to make sure everything else is mounted correctly before cutting that and then realizing that I've now made it too short. But yeah, I've cleaned the engine bay up like I've already said, made it a little bit more presentable. Alex is uh, very happy with it so far. Looking forward to starting it, hearing some of that bop bop. Uh, I think we're going to give it a drive uh, and I might even take Alex out in mine later on. <laughs> All done. You can probably hear my breath I'm quite out of breath. Um, it's not been without its fights. Typical HKS parts, they tend to, their brackets never line up with anything. So um, we had to manipulate them a little bit. But other than that, it's been fantastic. It looks great. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed on, um, which I don't know if it's a it's down to the fact that it's had another wire and harness added to this for the alarm but I would have preferred to have this underneath um, but yeah again like I said there's nothing I can do about that um, the harness itself isn't very long so if I was to go underneath it doesn't quite reach up but other than that looks great um, let's have a listen to it you want to go fire it up mate okay get it warm Well, there you have it, boys and girls. One HKS intake now fitted to this lovely facelift CRZ. Looks a lot better under here now, it's all clean as well. So now I'm just going to let this warm up a bit more. It's obviously it's been running for a little while, I just wanted to make sure he's got no air opposed or anything come up. Not that I knew I thought he would. Right, we're just going for a little rip, see what the intake sounds like. boys and girls that's all done now this car sounds excellent sun's making my head look shiny and more ginger than probably usual <laughs> hope you've enjoyed that uh, sorry it's not the most informal video if i'm honest uh i tend to sort of struggle with stuff like this because uh it's, there's so many like small parts i mean i think we worked out there's actually 39 different pieces uh but not one of 39 there's 39 different pieces to this kit uh, several screws, nuts, washers, all different lengths and uh, most of the instructions are in Japanese. There is a uh, very limited instruction manual that comes with it in English which I'm sure the HKS Europe supplier has uh, maybe chucked into the box. So yeah, what do you think to Alex's bumper? I'm not going to pronounce it, I think it's Nubless, he thinks it's what you call it? Nobles. Nobles, something like that. I don't know. I've never spoke to a Japanese person about it, so I don't actually know what that brand is pronounced. But that was also supplied by Talk Bars by uh, Talk GT. So if you want stuff like that, some rare JDM part. Are they JDM? Yeah. Are they like Russian or something like that? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
it's good to have Alex come down. Um, he's been on a couple of our stands before. Uh, we have been speaking a while, obviously on the Ciazo forums and stuff. So it's always good to hang out. We spent pretty much all day doing this. We probably actually spent about an hour working, about five hours just dicking about uh, and going out for rides in our cars. I wanted to show him the difference between mine and his because on paper, his should be quicker than mine. Um, being the facelift with 137 bhp stock mine's 124 stock i believe uh obviously mine is not 124 um, bhp anymore um i did actually say when we were driving um alex's car that his actually felt incredibly slow compared to mine um and then when i took him out in mine he uh confirmed that as well <laughs> <laughs> night and day apparently yeah i'm just gonna quickly talk to alex so let you see his thoughts and uh that'll probably close off this video please like share subscribe check out all the sponsors there in the intro and the outro uh discount codes there for you to use thank you for all the sponsors for sponsoring the channel and uh thank you for all the new followers new and old i appreciate you all here's alex I spent the day with Gareth, as he said, just fitting the HKS kit. Obviously, just fitted for himself, not me. Um, but yeah, he did a smashing job of it. Um, put it together like he knew it on the back of his hand. It um, sounded great. Re obviously, revved it, you know, no error codes and whatnot. Took it out for a blast. And yeah, you can feel with that intake in now, it's a lot more responsive and it does sound a lot more throaty. So yeah, overall, really happy with the kit. That was Alex. This is his lovely car. I'll have a quick look around it again in a second, maybe do a couple of shots. But it's been great to have him here. Uh, if you want anything done to your car, mods, stuff like this, hit me up. Um, more than happy to do it. Um, I didn't obviously charge Alex for this. This is all done free of charge, just to make content for you lovely boys and girls. Uh, and obviously to help the young man out so he doesn't have to pay someone um, to fit his parts, maybe incorrectly. I mean, he does actually take his car to a Honda dealership. I'm not going to name the dealership and shame them. Um, but just looking over his car, there's a few things that are incorrect that he's recently had the car serviced. Um, one of them being leaving a brake, uh, leaving a spanner on the uh, brake nipple, which is really fucking dangerous. Uh, and the brake fluid was so over full that even when I took the cap off to try and pull it back on, it actually pissed out the top. So that's not good. I showed him where the minimum and max levels are and I've adjusted that and I've cleaned everything up. I've given the engine bay a quick clean as well just to make things a bit more presentable for him. So when he opens his bay to show off to all his friends and family his new HKS intake, he isn't disappointed by the state of his engine bay. Anyway, boys and girls, in the background, you may be able to hear the sweet sound of Sally B, the B-17 Flying Fortress. If you don't know anything about that aircraft, do me and yourself a favor, go check her out. Beautiful aircraft, only one flying in Europe. Love you all, bye bye.